Hello, it's really good to see you back at my channel. This week, it's kind of like an end of year review. And what a year it's been. So yes, hello, welcome back. Um, as I say, end of year review is kind of, this week I'm not going out anywhere, it's now Christmas, it's, this is the weekend before Christmas, so there's too much other stuff to do, work's too busy, even though it's nice and sunny today, I've just got too much other stuff to do. So I thought I would just do an end of year review, um, just discussing the highs and obviously there's a lot of lows. So let's start with gear. Let's talk about gas, the gear acquisition syndrome. I suffer from this badly, very badly, and this year has been one of my worst on record, I think. Um, so I'll start with, um, I used to have an RB67, you can see here I took it out into the Peak District once, <laughs> twice in fact I've taken it out. Um, I liked it but I was struggling with it um, and someone wanted a swap or move from a Pentax to the RB, so I basically just did a swap. So I now have my Pentax 6x7 and I love it. Yes, it's a, it's a tank, it's an, it weighs more than a small country, um, but I really, really love this camera. Um, so as my first biggest jump into uh, gear acquisition, I started with a big one, put that there. Uh, and then I got the Mamaya 645s, so this one and the J, which I talk about in a video up here. I think, can I list more than one card? If I can't, it'll be down there. Um, th this is growing on me, this. I wasn't, I wasn't that bothered when I got them. I liked the idea, I wanted to try 645, and I, I was initially like, mm, I'm not sure if I like the smaller legs, but 15 shots, I like that part. So, um, so yes, it's grown on me, definitely grown on me, that one, so they're quite good. I've also had the Canon 300V. Um, that one I've really enjoyed using as 35mm cameras go. What else have I had? So I've had a light, I've got a light meter, I've got a few bits and pieces. Yeah, I've, too much, way too much. Um, and if you can see this here, that's a future thing. That's my Christmas present. The best way of getting around having gas is <laughs> just to make it a present. Um, that's to be announced. I don't actually have that yet, even though it's right there. I don't actually have it. It's to be gifted to me on Christmas Day. Um, so I can't really talk about it, but you can work it out. Uh, anything else? Gas. I bought a new bag. I got a new drone. Um, yeah, a bit too much. And especially considering the other part of this year. We haven't been able to get out, um, which has been, I think, the biggest challenge for all of us, absolutely all of us. So when this lockdown started, um, I was already in isolation at that point. I'm sort of higher risk in the, in the whole scheme of things. So for three months, I never left the house. Um, I went as far as my garden and that was it. And um, yeah, that takes a dent on your mental health a bit. Um, and I didn't leave the house at all. Um, I just got into a panicky state. So in terms of how 2020 has affected me, it, it hit hard, really hard. Um, so the opportunities to go out when lockdown was eased and you were able to travel a bit further afield to go for exercise and trips and things like that, I was like, gone, I needed to go, I needed to go. So, you know, I actually went to the Lake District for the first time and just, as in this video, um, I was overwhelmed, I think, just being somewhere completely new, so not in the Peak District, completely new. Um, yeah, kind of made me realise how much I've missed the outdoors and, and the world and life, you know? Um, and photography-wise, not being able to do anything meant that this channel took a bit of a dip. I wasn't able to produce as much. How some of these YouTubers managed to keep producing content, I don't know, because I just went, I got nothing. <laughs> if I don't go out, I haven't got much. So I did a couple of quirky little things. I did the one with my daughter doing the camera obscura in her bedroom. 
uh, the bubble photography, which I actually really enjoyed that. I did, did a lot more of that than what I showed you in the videos. I was constantly doing that one. I really, really enjoyed doing that. What else did I do? Not a lot else. Not a lot else. So film photography in that time grew. Uh, I got a dark room. Well, my garage is converted into a part dark room. So I started teaching myself doing prints. Uh, understanding film photography a bit more. I'm still learning that one. I am nowhere near mastering that one. As you'll see in my last video, uh, I made a few mistakes. So I'm still on my learning curve with that one. So it's steep, this learning curve, but it's it'll curve eventually. Um, but photos, I think this year, I've had some of my favorites. So the drone stuff um, in autumn this year has I thoroughly love those photos of the, the, the golden trees. Uh, someone called it on my Instagram the um, curried broccoli, which is what it looked like. And yeah, it was like so wonderful. Um, and the, the inversion I was greeted with one morning. And yeah, everything, everything's been really good towards the end of the year. And it's kind of reassured me that things will get better. Um, I do need to get back into digital photography a bit more. <laughs> I've not really touched the digital camera for a while. so. I will have to pick that one up in the new year and get back onto that one. Uh, so going ahead, uh, as of today, as of right now, which it is the 19th of December and it is at 25 past two in the afternoon, I am at 999 subscribers on this channel. I wonder who will be the thousandth, <sighs> but from my heart, thank you all of you, all of you for coming along on this journey with me. Um, I just felt I needed the creative outlet, so YouTube was my victim. And uh, for all of you that have come along, thank you so much. It really means the world to me. I, I, I so, so appreciate it. Um, it's, it's wonderful. So as I said in a couple of videos, uh, when I get to a thousand, I'm gonna give away a camera. And at this point, it's this. It's not much, but it's a start. This is a film camera. It is the um, Harman, which is Ilford, uh, black and white disposable camera. So you've got, um, how many shots? 27, how random, 27 exposures, ISO 400 film. Um, it's got a few instructions on the back, but this could be yours. Now I might do another one. I might have like a first, second and third. I'm gonna dig through my collection and then find a couple of my older cameras and give them away too. So to win this one, you have to be subscribed here. You have to go over to Instagram on this. You have to follow me on there. And I will make a post about this one. And if you could just make a comment, tell me where you're from, say hello, anything. Just make a nice comment, nothing rude, um, so that I can check you're all linked up and things like that. Um, and I will draw somebody out of a hat and you can have this camera and maybe another camera some, for someone else. And, you know, I'm going to aim for three cameras, I think, if I can. Um, and all of that will be announced later on. But the end of this uh, raffle, if you want to call it that, uh, this prize draw, shall we say, is the last day of December. And on probably the 2nd of January, I'm not going to commit to the 1st because I'll be hungover, hopefully. Um, I will draw a name or two or three out of the hat and let you know. So you've got a little while yet, but please, please do take part. I'd love to give this camera away. Now this has come out of my own pocket, hence it not being a big fancy camera. Um, this is me giving this away, not, uh, even though I've bought this from the wonderful guys at Analog Wonderland, um, which is what, where I buy all my film, but that has come out of my pocket. So be thankful. Be very, very, very thankful. <laughs> so on to next year, hopefully we can all get out and things will return to some sort of normality to a point. I'm not saying this is gonna go away or become January the 1st. This is still a battle we all have to take part in and we all do our bit, the sooner we can all get out there and get back to normal. So on that note, I'm going to wish you all a very Merry Christmas, an awesome New Year, and I will see you next year. But for now, do take care.